Hello, this is Jayant and here is with me Pallavi and Yukita. Welcome to Source Creation for AWS. In this session, I will explain how to enable gold images for AWS and also demonstrate source creation in the AWS cloud. So let's get started. Red Hat Cloud Access refers to a program provided by Red Hat for their customers. This program allows the customer to use their existing and unused Red Hat subscription for certain products in certified public cloud environments. With Cloud Access, customer can import their own Red Hat virtual images into the cloud environment to be used to provision cloud instances. With this, Red Hat customers continue to receive support directly from Red Hat and they are not required to pay any additional subscription fees. When Cloud Access is enabled for AWS account, Red Hat provided gold images unlocked in the AWS account under private offers. One can use these gold images to spin well VM, register those VM to Red Hat customer portal, attach Red Hat subscriptions to it, and also enable the required repos to download packages directly from Red Hat Content Delivery Network. Red Hat Cloud Access has to be manually enabled. The subscriptions which are eligible for Cloud Access will have a tag code images, as you can see in the image, like this. Now let's understand what these gold images are and how to generate them. Gold images are built and minted by a trusted source and are available only to Cloud Access customers. Gold images are Cloud Ready Red Hat Virtual Machine images available in selected Red Hat Certified Cloud or Service Provider environment, which is also known as CCSP for Cloud Access customers. This also works as an alternative to using their own custom images. Now, we will learn about the enrollment process. Log in to the Red Hat customer portal. Navigate to the Cloud Access dashboard from the top menu bar. Click on Enable a new provider to select the required cloud provider. Select the cloud provider AWS from the drop down menu. Now from here, we will go to Add Accounts manually. In this section, we need to enter the account information for the cloud provider, including the account number. Add a nickname. Now, Choose the subscription that are planned to be deployed on the cloud provider. As we explained earlier, the list contains all the subscriptions in the account, but the eligible subscription will have a tag code image like this. For each subscription to be enabled, enter the anticipated maximum number of subscription that are planned to be deployed on the cloud provider. Click on enable to request the process. Now here we have got the message successfully added AWS as an enabled cloud access provider and activated the Red Hat code images. Now we will go to AWS accounts. Here we can see the status as requested. From here we will click on activate Red Hat code images. Now here, we have got the message, Red Hat Gold Images Activation Successful. The images will be available in your AWS console within 3 hours. After 3 to 5 business hours, we will again go back to our Red Hat customer portal in Cloud Access. We will go to AWS accounts. Here we can see gold image access status is granted. After completing the enrollment form, a set of AMIs are shared with the AWS account provided based on the subscription specified. There are multiple ways to search for and launch real AMIs in AWS. This includes EC2 management console, AWS command line, and PowerShell command line. 
Now we will search for the provided AMIs on AWS using the EC2 management console. For that, log into the AWS account, go to the EC2 management console, select the AMIs from the menu item. From the drop down menu, select private images. After this, we will be able to see the list of AMIs. Here filter the AMIs by owner which will limit the displayed AMIs to those which were shared with the AWS account after enrolling in the cloud access. Let's say if there are multiple owners, then this is the best approach to filter the AMI. Next, we will search the provided AMIs on AWS command line. This is my EC2 machine. Here I will execute the command AWS space EC2 space describe hyphen images space hyphen hyphen owner and then I will put the same owner ID and then I'll press enter. As we can see, we'll get the list of AMIs. Now we will move on to the source creation. Here are some of the features. The source application is a platform where services and applications in the hybrid cloud console connect with the public cloud providers and with each other to collect and exchange data. Sources are added to enable high precision data collection for rel based AWS instances in the public cloud. And also it is created from within the hybrid cloud console. The public cloud making tool adds the capability for AWS instances that results in accurate usage monitoring of the instances. Here are some prerequisites to create a source. First, the ability to create AWS resource in the US East 1 region. Second, sources administrator role in the role based access control system, which is also known as RBAC or hybrid cloud console. There are basically two ways in which we can create an AWS source. First, adding an AWS source with the account authorization and configuration mode. Second, adding an AWS source with a manual configuration mode. First, we will add an AWS source with the account authorization configuration mode. It is an automated mode for creating sources. When this mode is selected, AWS account root user credential in the form of access EID and secret access key are provided. These credentials are used briefly to complete the automated steps and are then discarded. Now, let's have a look at the process. In the browser, go to cloud.reader.com. Enter your Red customer portal credentials if required. The hybrid cloud console will open. Click on settings. And in the navigation menu bar, select sources. Click add sources. Select AWS icon as a source type. Enter the name. Click next. Select account authorization as a configuration board. The window refreshes to display the fields for the AWS account root user credentials. Enter the access key ID and secret access key for AWS account user. Click next. Select file management as an application. This selection provides high precision data capabilities for cloud metering for the subscription service. Select other options as appropriate. Review the details for this source. Click add to complete the source creation.
after creating a source we can check the status over here on the source page the status is showing in progress after a few minutes refresh the same page and now we can see the status as available this completes our first method of creating a source using account authorization now we will move on to adding an AWS source with a manual configuration mode. This mode enables to create a source without providing the AWS account root user credentials. Here, a specialized AWS IAM policy, IAM role, and adding a connection between AWS account and public cloud neutering is manually created. Now, let us have a look at the process. Go to the hybrid cloud console. Click on settings. In the navigation menu, select sources, click on add source, select AWS icon as a source type, click next, give it a name, click next. Select manual configuration as a configuration mode. Select next. Select well management as an application. Click next. Now here in this step, we have to create an IAM policy for the AWS account. IAM policy defines permissions for an AWS resource. Let's say for example, a role. This policy defines the actions that public cloud metering can perform on the AWS account. The starting we will copy this policy. Now in a further step, open the IAM console. Select policies. And click on create policy now switch the JSON text box remove all the pre-written data or policy go to the control copy the policy written over here and paste it in the JSON text box. Then click on next. Give a name to your policy. And click on create policy we can see the status the policy AWS source has been created after creating a new policy we'll come back to add a cloud source wizard since we have created a new policy therefore we will click on next now, in this step, we have to create an IAM role for the AWS account. An IAM role is an identity that can perform the actions that are defined by its associated policy. This role defines the action that public cloud metering can perform on the AWS account. Now, to create the IAM role, go to the IAM console, click on roles. Click on create new role. In the trusted entity type, select AWS account. Below it, select another AWS account. Go to add a cloud source wizard. Copy the public cloud metering account ID from here.
and paste it in the account ID field for the role. Click on next. In the permission step of the role creation, attach the new policy that we have created. Click on next. Give a name to your role. And complete the process by creating a new role. Now, our role is also successfully created. Once the role is created, we will go back to the cloud console and click next. Now next step is to enter ARN, which is Amazon resource number. Adding the ARN for the role to the source creates the connection between the subscription service and the account so that the public cloud metering can begin data collection. For this, we'll again go back to the IAM console, click on roles, click on the role that we have just created for the source creation, in the summary page for the role, copy the ARN. Go back to the cloud source, paste the ARN in this field, click on next, give you all the details for the source and click on add to complete the process. Now here we can see that our second source is also created using manual configuration and status is still unknown. Now after some time we will refresh the screen again. Check the status. In the connected application we can see the well management is in red. In the manual procedure the cloud account does not communicate directly with the Red Hat Hybrid Cloud Console. Therefore, we can see the status will be unavailable, which is an accepted behavior. This completes our today's session. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you.